Hey everyone, this is Demonic here, and I'll be walking you through an installation of Game Manager and also connection to Delta Force servers through Game Manager. So, first of all, you want to go to the Game Manager website, then you want to download it. After you download it multiple times, uh, one sec, I close it. There you go. When you open it, you should see this window. It's best to just leave all of these off. Alright, the next window is just a welcoming. The next window is just an agreement. You can just press next. And of course, agree. Now, I already have an account, so I'll be logging through my account. But I'll just show you what you need. You can skip this. You you need your email and then you need to create your own password and then confirm it. After that there will be a verification sent to your email. Right, I'll just quickly log in through my own account. After you log in, it'll just you'll have a list of all the cities for the time zones. You can just select your own time zone wherever you are. I just simply stick to Scotland, and that's it. So next, you'll have this window. It'll be a um, list of various games that are supported through Game Manager. Delta's probably on here somewhere as well. If I can find it. Yeah, there it is. No, do not launch Steam. So, the next step is to set up your game. You go to Edit, Options. This window should pop up. And then you find Delta Force Black Countdown. Among this list. You want to browse and manually set your location for Delta Force. For me, it's not on Steam. It's over here. And this file, dfbhd.exe. You can browse through these tabs, probably the most important features are to disable this. It, it means this shows being in numbers instead of graph. You can disable sounds. I like to have them on, some people a lot, uh, hate game manager sounds. I simply just turn them down. You can uh, disable messages from everyone except your friends or you can completely disable messages by clicking this and that should be all the important options here what I do is to create a new group and then just call it whatever whatever you want for me it's just bhd and then we find it again we click it we click ok and then suddenly we can only see delta for servers and as you can see we can see ping currently this is uh, the amount of players currently in the server and you can change your username by clicking edit and then user profile or you can simply press ctrl u and you can nickname yourself whatever you want so why not
And then I don't think there is anything else for me to show you. To join your server, you simply double click. Then you should start up this. Opportunities. Every time you join a server, let me just mute this. Sometimes they just drop in. Oh, there's an X here. Every time you join a server, there will be an advertisement. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. It is a free software afterwards. So yeah, you click this button over here to join it. It should start up the, the Delta uh, folder that you have selected. And as you can see, I uh, automatically adjusted my username to this. And basically, it will try to auto join you, which doesn't work. Let me just save with this. And you go to multiplayer. Normally you go to another world, but you don't want to do that. You want to go to LAN as it is through LAN. You basically search for your game. And there it is. And we are on the server. Alright, so this will be common. You want to enable this, allow it to uh, access your network or otherwise there will be some firewall issues so I'll just allow that now you can also host your own uh, game manager game by choosing these options you can make it friends only as well and I'll quickly make a password so no one joins Opportunities aren't always obvious. Sometimes. Alright. Alright. Multiplayer. Let's game. It'll alter justice for you. And it's basically selecting this selecting all of your options and then playing through and then suddenly everyone can join you once you load it in it's that simple so yeah that's it that's all there is to game ranger it's a simple software to use i hope you enjoy it see you guys next time